Hey there, we're about to get underway fermenting these pickles. These are the AIP, autoimmune protocol pickles. Um, but really for any pickle that you're working on fermenting, whether that be uh, half sour for three or four days or full sours at around a week. Um, if you don't have a water-based airlock, which is going to be a lid usually that has a device like this, which allows the gases to escape without allowing... Um, air or oxygen to come back into your ferment which can cause problems um, you can just use a regular plastic lid I don't recommend the metal lids because they can rust um, and corrode over time especially with the contact with salt water and um, perhaps for your first ferment if you don't have any other options that'll be okay um, but you'll see as you wash them and use them more you're going to see rust build up and you just really don't want that um, contacting with anything you're eating so I would advise you to look on Amazon for plastic uh, wide mouth mason jar lids or um, an airlock system this is the um, fermentology sour system uh, there's also go ferment and really they're all very similar and um, good uh, this uh, fermentology sour system airlock is the one I'm using um, and as far as the burp itself, you're just going to make a short turn counterclockwise, about, about an inch or two. You're not going to remove the lid or anything like that. You don't want any air exposure that's unnecessary to come into contact with your ferment. And then you're just going to reclose it firmly, but you don't have to go crazy. Um, for pickles, you'll need to do this every day so you don't have too much gas pressure buildup. Um, if you have a longer ferment, like sauerkraut, that could go on for a month or months, then it may just be doing that for the first couple weeks, and then maybe just sporadically after that, and eventually you probably won't have to do it at all. Um, but in the case of the pickles, I recommend doing that once a day. And you may hear some gas escape when you do that. That's healthy and normal. You may notice that your water starts to get cloudier and cloudier, and that's a sign of a healthy, normal ferment. And um, so that should do it for burping. If you have any questions, let me know. Good luck.